check out this view. I mean, do I really have to explain why I come out here? Why I love the Appalachian Trail? When you got a view like this? Holy crap. So I talked to my mom today and she says I need to not point the camera at the ground. But this is what the trail looks like. It's pretty rough, but man, is it beautiful. Oh, so I'm trying very hard not to drop the camera. Uh, I would love to have some sort of harness that I could use to mount the camera to my torso, to my uh, chest strap. If anybody knows of something like that, that's relatively affordable. And can, you know, post something like a comment. I read all the comments. So, I would love to find some sort of chest strap or some sort of harness that I can use to securely mount my phone to my chest strap. Uh, so I can do some recording while I'm actually hiking. Because right now I'm, like, balancing two trekking poles in one hand and the phone in the other. And trying to walk down this incredibly narrow stretch of trail. Oh man, check it out. You can kind of see Fontana Dam right there. That's the that water over there. That's Fontana. And then the mountains past that, that's the Smoky Mountains right there. I'll be there in a couple days, maybe four days until I hit Fontana. Um, five, I gotta take a zero, or not a zero, I gotta take a zero at uh, the Natahala Outdoor Center, NOC, uh, to recharge. My battery and my devices and stuff. Um, I should. Anyway. I mean. It's so pretty out here. I can't understand people not wanting to do this. Alright. I gotta keep hiking. I'm hungry and they have food at the NOC. At the NOC. So, I don't know if you can tell, but that's steep right there. That's a steep downhill. That is also a steep downhill. I'm on a strip of mountain that runs out. It's like three feet wide. It's kind of amazing. Um, in a scary sort of way. Alright, so we're approaching the jump off. Like I said, I'd show it to you. Oh. Trail maintainers were up here at some point. Chopping down some trees. Oh, I'm going to have to turn off the camera and put my poles to carefully step down there. All right. All right. So I can't actually see the screen. So I'm just hoping this is a good recording because, well, the sun is right on the back of the screen. And I can't see anything. But check this out. This is the scary, scary trail feature known as the jump off. The trail goes right to the edge of the cliff and drops right off. And I will be very, very careful. See here? Scary, scary. I don't want to drop my phone. Cannot afford a new one. All right. All right. Over there, those uh, white tops. Those are that's the Smoky Mountain National Park. You can see the. Um, Fontana, a little piece of Fontana Lake below it. All right, stepping down. Oh, carefully, because I do not want to die today. All right.
So Fontana, that lake over there with uh, the red dirt around the edges, that's Fontana. Uh, I've been there before and I know that's what it looks like this time of year. Uh, the water doesn't quite fill it up because it's a man-made dam and I think they use it for power or something. Alright, I'm going to need to put away my phone to navigate this. I'll pull it back out when I get to the edge though. Alright, so there's the jump off. You can kind of see the trail down there. The trail goes back this way. But man, the trail comes right to the edge of this cliff. It is um, pretty terrifying. I'm going to put my uh, phone away and keep hiking. because. But man, look at that view. I just don't want to drop my phone. I'll never be able to get it back. So there's the jump off. We just walked, climbed down about 100 feet over the course of 100 feet. Uh, if I check on far out, it still says nearby, which means I'm not that far away from it. But, uh, ooh, there was a couple times I had to take off my pack and sit down to get down a section. I didn't show it to you because. Well, it's afternoon and I just want to, it's about 12.30 right now. I started hiking at uh, 8.30, 8.45, and I still have three to four miles to go to get to the NOC. So uh, I just want to get going. But, uh, so yesterday I woke up to snow. This morning I woke up to freezing temperatures and now I'm sweating. And just took off my outer layer. I mean, can't protect the weather out here. Uh, that's why people say it's best to keep your cold weather gear until you're past Mount Rogers. Because you really can't predict the weather out here. It can change at the drop of the hat. It was basically 79 on Easter Sunday. And then we had two days of snow. And now it's back up into probably the mid-50s. Anywho, well, I'm almost to the Natal Outdoor Center, uh, where my new pack and a large pizza await. Uh, the large pizza doesn't know it's awaiting me yet, but the restaurant serves pizza and burgers, and I'm gonna kill a freaking pizza. So, uh, judge me if you want, but don't judge me too harshly. I just walked five and a half miles. All right, so we made it to Natahala Outdoor Center. Whew, man, my feet are killing me. I need to wash my socks. They're, uh, feel, they feel dirty. Which, for wool socks that I wear for seven days in a row, is pretty good. Uh. I'll give you a bit of a tour later, probably tomorrow. So I made it and my new pack was waiting. Just gonna crack it open now. So I found a beautiful place to camp last night. To hear the got to hear the river going by all night long. Um, it's a secret camping spot, so I won't tell you exactly where it is. But um, it's very comfortable. I'm hoping I can hike out today, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my old osprey pack. Um, this is the old pack. New pack is buried over here. I'll show it to you later. Um. But I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with it, so I'm not sure if I can hike out tomorrow, today, or if I have to wait till tomorrow, which is disappointing. I didn't want to spend a whole day in here, but whatever, I'll figure it out.